Okay, let's do it, shall we? This is Dog Gone, my brand new book, published by HarperCollins, out now. Are you sitting comfortably? Yes? Okay, then we'll begin. I'm Edward Pugglesworth. How do you do? And this is the house where I live with my crew. There's Foxy, Lord Squeakerton, Hot Dog, The Bears, and Dave, my pet human. I keep him upstairs. He's not too much trouble. He's tidy and neat. He plays with his ball and he eats the odd treat. I love my pet human. He's loyal and true, but sometimes I think that I should have got two. And now for our story. I'll always remember that crisp autumn day at the end of September. I woke Dave at eight with a good morning bark and took him straight out for his walk in the park. The air cooled our breath as we kicked through the leaves. We bumped into Shadow. We said hi to Jeeves. We nodded to Heron, gave Rabbit a wave. And then we both froze and I hid behind Dave. For there, in the shed by the merry-go-round, they say that a terrible troll can be found with fur-covered face and huge eyes of bright green. He loves chasing dogs with his eating machine. My heart was a flutter, a leaf on the breeze as we crept past the shed and the dark, twisted trees. And then we both ran just as fast as we could, and we didn't stop running till Cherry Tree Wood. Relieved, we decided to play with Dave's ball. And that's when we noticed the rain start to fall. A rumble of thunder, the wind gathered speed. It's home time, I woofed, and put Dave on his lead. We set off at pace, but the storm came in fast. And then, by the bench, I felt something zoom past. Two squirrels! A flurry of grey, white and black. Your acorns, I shouted. You've dropped them. Come back. I picked up the nuts and began to give chase. I flew through those woods like a rocket through space. Alas, I could not catch that squirrely pair. So I turned to my human. But Dave wasn't there. I retraced my steps. Where on earth did he go? I bumped into Heron, but she didn't know, and neither did Rabbit. He hadn't a clue. I lost my pet human. What was I to do? I ran to the bandstand. I circled the pond. I looked through the wood and the meadow beyond. Finally, with a cold feeling of dread, I went back to check out the scary troll. Shed. I pushed with my nose and the door opened wide. I took a deep breath and I tiptoed inside. And there, in the darkness, an awful surprise for looking straight at me were two bright green eyes. My hackle shot up and with trembling knees I ran from the shed through the dark twisted trees. I zigged and I zagged. I could hear him behind me. I needed to hide where the troll wouldn't find me. But then, a dead end. I was trapped in between the fence and the terrible eating machine. My legs turned to jelly. My thoughts were a muddle. And then the troll grabbed me and gave me a cuddle. Hello there, he said. What a handsome young fellow. I've seen you before with that chap dressed in yellow. Oh dear, have you lost him? Oh, well, that just won't do. Fear not, little doggy. I'll find him for you. We rode his machine to the place that sells tea. And there was my human, as safe as could be. A whirlwind of huggles and licks and embraces. Kindness. It's found in the strangest of places. And so, dearest reader, our story ends here. A day of adventure, new friendships and cheer. Have fun in the park, but I do recommend that you keep a close eye
on your two-legged friend. There we go, the end of the story. What did you think? I hope you liked it. So it's basically a story all about kindness, isn't it? And how you can find kindness in the most unexpected places sometimes. And I think that's a nice message, if I do say so myself. Also, I don't think there's many books that have got more drawings of dogs in than this book here, Dog Gone. So if you're a dog fan, maybe this is the book for you.